This is part 6 of a video tutorial in which I've been building a basic helicopter model using the modeling software Blender. Um, today's video we're going to be covering the tail fin and the router housing. I've loaded in my side view image so we'll refer to that and have a look at what we're up to here. What I'm going to need to do is pick a face to empty out this round space for. I've had a look at my image and I'll quickly flip into faces mode and I've decided that this face would be the most appropriate and the reason I've chose that face is a matter of shape. In order to retain the shape of the tail fin I'm going to need two faces above and two faces below this housing area and this face will eventually get deleted and turned into an empty space in which we'll sit a moving rotor. So I'll go back to my side view and into wireframe as well into vertices mode. First thing I'm going to need to do is drag this bottom area down a bit. It's in the way of that housing and I'm going to need a little extra space so I'm going to grab it, limit Y so I'm free to move it in two directions and create a little bit of extra space there by expanding the bottom of this tail fin a bit. I'm going to try not to do it by too much but enough to get the space that I need. Now I'll deselect the bottom edge, drag the top edge down a bit, this time just along Z, and deselect this point and grab the final point that's in the road and drag it down out of the way as well. And again I'll just go along Z for that one. That should give me space and I'll start pulling down these vertices into appropriate locations. First thing I'll do is square up this edge with the grid so that I have a perfect rectangle. I'll zoom in on that a bit so it's a little more clear. First off deselect then grab this edge zoom in a bit and grab that down along Z until it's uh, square with the grid. Be able to tell that the line is square because all the jagged edge will disappear. I would try to get Jagged Edge to show on this little YouTube video, but I don't really think that I can. And I also think that I don't really need to. Anybody who's watched this tutorial this far already knows what Jagged Edge is and doesn't need me to demonstrate it. I'll grab that one down part of the way and zoom in a little bit. Then I can grab it again along Z and again just drop it until the jagged edge disappears. Now what I want to do is turn this rectangle into a square. I'm going to do that is I'm going to use the grid from Blender to make it into a square. I'll just use that as my outline. So I'll pick up the four corners, grab the whole thing, limit Y again, place it onto the grid lines, have a closer look here, a second there it looked like I had some jagged edge still, I'll deselect one edge, grab the other edge, move it along X, tuck it into the grid line, and I'm not going to be perfect on this, I don't think it's necessary, Again, use my brush tool to select another edge, grab it, this time along Z, and bring it down until it's a square. I'm thinking that's close enough, so I'll just pick that whole square up now, move it to a centralized location, limiting Y again so that I'm only moving in the two directions. Once I have it centralized onto the router area I can simply expand it. So I'll size it again limiting Y because I don't want it to grow in that direction. 
It's leaning a little bit towards the back, but that's okay. Now one thing I notice as we're progressing here is I've had a small issue develop with an overlap. And what's happened is because of dragging this vertices down here so low, it has created an overlap with this edge. So I'm going to have to relieve that. It's a, like a pressure uh, from stretching it too far or whatever. So I'm going to grab that vertices and move it down and just move some vertices around to relieve that. So I'll grab that, again limit Y, bring it down along here to a location that seems fitting, somewhat central, and try to line this edge up so that it looks good. Deselect it, select this vertices, and bring it down. We'll see if that clears up the issue. So I'll grab it, again limit Y, bring it down out a little bit and that should be good there. Some of our shapes look a little bit different now and a little bit off. But I think it should work out in the end. Things look a little bit different when we go into solid mode. I may decide to play with this vertices a little bit, this whole edge, and bring it down and centralize it a bit as well. I'll deselect all of this and we'll carry on with the router housing for now. We're going to subdivide that so we have enough points to work with. Deselect them all. Select the top and bottom ones. Size them along Z. Pull those out to the edge of the circle. Then grab the other two on the edges and size them along X until they hit the circle. Have a close look, make sure we don't have any more problems developed. This one's a little bit close here, and I think I'll pull it down a little bit. I have space to do that, so I might as well. So I'll grab it, again limiting Y, pull it down, and make that less of an uncomfortable looking triangle. And I like that better. I think that looks a little more appropriate. I'll go into faces mode and we'll simply delete some of these faces now. This one, this one, this one, and that one. Use X and delete faces. Now we'll have a look at that in solid mode. And as you can see, we have a nice hole where our tail rotor will fit. Now I think I'll look at this vertices up here and see if we want to relocate that a bit. I'm probably getting really short on time as well, so maybe I should be checking on that, but I'll just do this very quickly and first make sure everything is deselected, brush pick that up, grab it, limit Y, and bring it into a more central location. And hopefully that spot will be good. I have a feeling that this one could also use being moved, so I'm going to do that as well. Grab it, limit Y, and give it a centralized location. Now hopefully that will look pretty good. I'm going to cut out and check my time. Well, it turns out that I have less than one minute left, so there's not really a lot more we can do. Um, we'll just look at what we're going to do next video. I'm going to work on the actual window in the front here, as well as I'm going to look at consolidating some of these triangles and turn them into polygons. I'm sure we can clear up some of these as being issues and save a few lines and a few edges doing that lower our memory footprint slightly and that'll be in the next video where we'll do the window and clear up some triangles and maybe get a tail rotor actually added to finally start working on these other parts so I'll see you in that video